I get mad at you sometimes. Now, ultimately, I take ownership of my own emotions. But for some reason, this very common gym barking mistake really grinds my gears, so to speak. Today, I'll tell you what this gym marking mistake is, why I find it so triggering, and what to do instead. My name is Mark Fisher from Business for Unicorns, and if you like hearing words as much as you like watching my face say the words, well, you're gonna wanna check out the Business for Unicorns podcast. We share two awesome, knowledge-packed episodes each and every week with Michael Keeler, Pete Dupuy, Ben Pickard, myself, and an array of awesome guests. If you want to succeed in your training gym and you like podcasts, go ahead, click the link in the description box and subscribe today. Now let's talk about my anger. What I find triggering is that this particular mistake, I believe, belies a certain lack of empathy. Understand all of marketing is about entering the conversation already going on in your prospect's head. And a common mistake that I see with gym owners are they care what they care about. And in spite of ostensibly being in a service focused industry, they don't spend a lot of time thinking about what the client wants. So here's a brief list of things your clients do not care about. They do not care about training. They do not care about periodization. They do not care about macros. They don't care about deadlift technique. They don't care about evidence-based protocols. Now again, here I hear some of you saying like, no, no, that's not true, Mark, my clients do. Well, here's the thing, in practice, sure, there's probably small outliers of individuals that have the interest and this type of rigor and the way they are wired, that stuff is very important to them. I'm not discounting that. But the point I wanna make is the reason your clients stay is often not why they start. So your current clients have often been indoctrinated. They become your disciples. They have learned your most passionate clients, the ones you love the most, that you want to replicate. Well, the problem is you've already taught them a lot of what matters to you and they've come to value similar things. So when you ask those clients what it is they like about you, they'll often say things such as, well, I really like your great program design or I really like your focus on getting me as strong as possible. I really like that it's a customized, tailored, personal training solution. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that there's a massive, uncrossable delta between what your current clients want and your prospects, but you gotta remember your prospects are often coming at this from a very different place. Most of what your prospects are looking for, if you work in the general population, is gonna be some combination of they wanna look better, which is to say they wanna lose fat or build muscle, and or they want to perform better, which is to say they want to live longer, they want to have healthier blood work, they want their doctor not to be mad at them, and they want to feel better. They want to have more energy, they want to not get tired in the middle of the day, and they want the confidence that comes from knowing that they're really taking care of their body and doing something proactive for their fitness. The reality is in our marketing, we have to be somewhat generalized, of course, because ultimately, even when you are very clear on an avatar and you have a very specific niche, there's gonna be some variance of the things that draw them there, but as a rule of thumb, understand what I described there are largely the benefits of exercise. And what trainers tend to be interested in are the features. Now, I, I wanna make this point very strongly. The features matter. Understand, I am a training nerd. It is serious fitness, ridiculous humans for a reason, Serious fitness, I'm really into this stuff, right? I believe we have an obligation as fitness professionals to provide a great training product, to keep people safe, and to do our very best to give them the best possible service that's gonna support their short-term and long-term health and fitness goals. So I'm not dismissing any of that. I'm just making the point that when I go to your website and I see free evaluation, free, we have free assessments. I just don't think that's gonna be valuable for most people most of the time. But for general population people, you gotta understand for the most part, they don't care what you care about, they care what they care about. That's not to say there's no place for what you care about, there is. You don't wanna be inauthentic, and it's okay for you to have interests and passions, but we wanna be client-centered. Because ultimately, this is not really about marketing for the sake of making the most money possible. This is about marketing to help the people, the communities you feel called to serve, and inspire them to take action by painting for them a vision of a future that they wanna be living into. And to do that requires entering the conversation already happening in their head and getting out of the trainer talk stuff that I see sometimes getting in the way of a lot of gym owners. All right, friends, well, thank you for letting me get up on a little tiny soapbox here and rant to chill a little bit. I concede, again, it's on me to master myself and I wanna show empathy to you, but I really hope you take this message to heart because not only will you avoid raising my blood pressure, but leave me out of this, um, I know ultimately you're gonna be more successful doing the thing that I know you're called to do, which is really take care of your clients and really make amazing impact. 
and thereby build a really awesome training gem. And if you want a little bit more context for how this specifically will show up in the world of websites, do click the link in my description box below and watch my video, Your Website Sucks. This is such a triggering topic to me, apparently, I'm sorry. And before you click on that video, of course, if you feel so inspired, I'd love for you to hit subscribe so you never miss a new video because I will be back soon enough to share with you more actionable tips, psychological frameworks, and philosophy.